Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Sammy and this is Unicorn Dust Designs where we do DIYs and wood signs and tonight is Wood Sign Wednesday. So tonight I'm going to be showing you six easy wood sign DIYs or just wood DIYs I guess. I want to show you these signs because one, they're super easy to create, they don't take a lot of time, and they are potential money makers that you can then take that money and invest it back into your business or spend it on whatever you want if you don't have a business. Uh, go to Dollar Tree and buy more crafts with that money. That's what I do. Um, for these projects, you guys, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be using was already pre-stained, pre-cut. It's just kind of wood that's been sitting down in my basement that I haven't used yet. So you won't see me go through the process of cutting, sanding, staining, all that. You guys have seen me do that a couple, well, especially sanding, but not sanding. We will do a video on that, I promise. Um, so with that said, I'm going to go ahead and take you through all of these awesome DIYs. Let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments. And also you guys, please comment down below. Are you someone that watches all my videos, DIYs included, or do you like to come here just on Wednesdays to watch the wood sign videos? Um, very interested to know. So anyways, with that said, let's go do some wood signs. If you were still here after I did that, bless your heart. Here is wood sign DIY number one, you guys. And I apologize, my kids are running crazy. You guys, these are just scraps of wood, like the extra ends that are were from random projects that all I did was sand them down and I spray painted them white. And they've been sitting in my basement forever. Okay, like forever that's how long you guys so these are just random sizes i will make sure that i put all of the sizes down below but again these were just randomly cut they were just random pieces i cut all of my vinyl out of 651 oracle permanent vinyl in matte black the font is the skinny and I will put all this information down below. I am just showing you slowly just one um, decal. You guys, so I picked this transfer paper up because uh, the Daily DIYer uses it and suggested it. So I was like, you know what? I'll buy a roll and see how it goes. At first, I wasn't liking it, but now I'm absolutely obsessed. Like it takes to the vinyl very nicely and it comes off so smoothly no sticky residue it does not take like you pulling it off to get it off the vinyl you know um i absolutely am obsessed with it now uh for some pieces though it is a little hard um because it's not completely see-through so if like you're going on white like this or something you know so I will make sure that I link it down in my Amazon store for you guys so you can check it out yourself. And it does come in a super big roll for the price of it. All right, so we are gonna go ahead and we are going to do this for the remaining wood pieces. Now, you guys, these are so popular right now. Like you can go on Pinterest and see these everywhere on Etsy, see them everywhere. People are putting them in their tier trays. They are putting them on their coffee bars, on bookshelves as fillers. Um, so these are great to sell. I would probably, if I were, like I might sell, cause I don't have all the space I wish I had, that I would probably sell these on my Etsy page as a bundle. So not separately. Um, I think you could get more money if they are sold as a bundle. And I feel like that would just be like a lot of work to sell these individually. If you were at a craft fair or something though, that would be good to like either sell them individually or say like two for, you know, eight bucks or you know what I'm saying. Like, I think that would be the way to go if you were doing it at a craft fair, but I would sell all of these together so all five of them for one price so there you go super cute they stand up by themselves even though they're a little uneven but that's the whole thing it's the rustic ray look okay 
DIY number two, you guys, I made so much money off of these signs during Mother's Day. Let me tell you. So this, you guys, I will link above. I stained this wood with acrylic paint and water. Yes. Okay. And look at how beautiful that stain color is. Um, so I made my decal. I designed this myself, you guys, and I'm sorry, but I designed it a while ago and already welded it together. So I have no idea what the fonts are for this. Um, the flowers I got from the Dollar Tree in their crafters square section, they're beautiful paper sunflowers. So gorgeous. So I am putting a sawtooth hanger on this. This is not a stand up sign. It is something you need to hang up. Sawtooth hangers, um, you can get online. I actually buy mine at Walmart. Um, I don't know why, but every time I order them online, they like, I don't know. I don't know. Too, too much to explain, but I prefer them. <laughs> I prefer getting them at Walmart. So taking my vinyl, this is matte 651 vinyl permanent. And I am just going to put that on my right side. I always lay my vinyl down first and then I will put my flowers later. So here is our silver clip. I got these on Amazon. I'm using the picture as a reference guide as to where to put my clip. And that is also why I put the sawtooth hanger on first, because if you were to lay it down now, it would be almost impossible to hammer the back in. So now we're just applying these with hot glue. For Mother's Day, I did do handmade felt flowers and I sold these for $16 each. And keep in mind, that was with the handmade felt flowers attached to them. And this is five and a half by 12 inches. DIY number three, look at how cute this turned out, you guys. So I don't know how big this sign is. I will definitely put it in comments. I'm just using twine from the Dollar Tree and I am probably putting like four knots all together just to have one big knot on my twine. And then I'm gonna take my staple gun. I suggest using a staple gun versus a hot glue gun if you are selling these and having other people buy them just for added security. And then I'm just wrapping this around in a circle. No rhyme or reason for it, just kind of playing around with the position. And then I'm going to do another knot on the back and staple it again. Now, you guys keep in mind, I did this horizontally because if I did it vertically, I wouldn't be able to stand it up without it being uneven. So this is going to be like a standalone sign, like a desktop or table topper, something like that. Um, so that is why I did not put a sawtooth hanger on the back. And that is why you shouldn't put twine the opposite way, unless you're going to hang it up. Okay. So there's that. Then I'm taking this felt flower. I did not make this one. You guys, I, these were on clearance. Gosh, I don't know, like three years ago or something at Joanne's and look at how cutesy, cutesy, cute that is super easy. You guys. And I don't know why, but photo holders like this make me a decent amount of money, especially during the holidays. Like imagine this during Mother's Day or Christmas or something like that. It's the way to go. So let's get on. Look at how cute this one is. So this one, you guys, I made by a one by four. Is this one by four? One by two? One by four? One by, yeah, something like that. Don't know how long it is. I will measure it, of course. So this was just a scrap piece. I sanded it down nice. Um, and these are some paper flowers I actually found at Hobby Lobby this past weekend on clearance for like $1.27, something random like that. And another decal. And then I'm taking elephant and acrylic white paint. I do not have a light gray, so I figured I'd just mix the two and I'd get the color I wanted out of this which I did and I'm just taking a chippy brush and I think you guys all know that like I hardly ever do clean painting I like the distressed look I don't like it looking perfect so that is all I'm doing here the front the sides make sure you guys if you are doing like stand I call them standalone signs or whatever paint the back of them. Do not leave them bare like that. I, there is nothing worse. If I am somewhere shopping and I read that they don't finish the back of it, I don't buy it. I feel like it is just so unfinished. 
You know, like if I'm going to spend money on it, I'm going to buy a product. I want a finished looking product, especially if I'm gifting it to someone. So make sure you paint or stain the back of your items. So uh, again, I'm positioning my vinyl first, playing around with my florals here. Same thing, matte black, 651 vinyl. Your potential is endless. This was, uh, the font was curry or new. It's just, I think, standard in your um, design studio for Cameo. <clears throat> I'm going to take that off and then, uh, you guess it, we're going to hot glue those beautiful little flowers on. And these, you guys, again, like you can do so many different flowers with this, so many different quotes, color paints. I mean, you could just stain and then like distress it down and these will make you good money, like $1.27 for those flowers and that was the whole bundle. So this sign I could sell, I would, I would personally sell for like $8 or something like that. Look at how cute. All right. This is my favorite. Look at that wood. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay. So we are taking all of these supplies. I'm back. My daughter just came downstairs and had a toy car stuck in her hair. Okay, you guys. So this piece of wood is a five and a half by 12 and look at how beautiful this piece of wood is. Look at that gray, that's all natural. All I did was put um, weathered oak on this just to seal my piece of wood, but gosh, is that stunning. I was like, I am not staining that any kind of color. Like it needs, and I'm keeping this sign for sure. I am not selling this. I was like, I love the grain. So I designed the, the vinyl cutout that I'm using here. This one will be available for purchase on my Etsy shop. I should, if you guys think I should do like a little kit for this on Etsy, like I could put the hanger on the back and then sell the piece of wood. And I don't know if we should do paint or stain or I don't know you guys, Never mind. Okay. So this is a little sticky bugger over here. So I had to be super careful. And we're just applying that like we do any other vinyl over here. Come on, any day now. I've been trying to like cut a square around my stencil so that I have like an exact cutout of the size of my wood sign, if that makes sense, to make it a little easier for positioning. Obviously I didn't do that great of a job. Uh, all right, so we're taking that off and then I'm going to get some painter's tape and your girl, don't waste anything. So I didn't have any of the smaller size painter's tape, so I just cut the bigger one in half. Yep, mm-hmm, gotta save every little bit you can, let me tell ya. So, gonna cover that up because I am using the roller, and even if you don't use a roller and you're using a sponge or a makeup sponge or something, it's still just better to protect your wood because we all have mess ups, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm gonna use Rust-Oleum Linen White, if you've watched my wood signs before, this is my favorite roller. I promise you guys, I have so many of you guys ask about my roller and I randomly picked this up before I started my YouTube channel. So I have no idea what it is and I don't want to suggest a random one to you guys without knowing if it works or not. So next time I go to Menards, I promise I will get the information. And like I said, your girl don't waste nothing. So we are scooping that back up and we're putting it back in. All right, dun dun dun. Dun, dun 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 Foxy, lady, you know that you're a heartbreak good. Dun 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 dun. Y'all are welcome. I was supposed to be on American Idol, but you know, I told them I had better things to do. So, anyways, um, okay, let's keep weeding this. You guys do not gouge your wood when you are weeding. All you have to do is try to get a little corner, get it hooked onto your weeding tool, and then pull it up. Keep in mind, chalk paint has a tendency to like flake after it dries. So, if you have those little pieces, get like a paintbrush or something and you know, brush them away because if you try to do it with your finger, it'll probably smudge. All right. Now we are putting another sawtooth hanger on the back right in the middle. 
I use pliers with this. I think I just did this on another, well, I don't know. Um, do you guys love hearing me just talk to myself, basically? I'm pretending I'm talking to you. Okay, isn't that cute? Hey, you guys, what's up? I'm back, surprise. Okay, you guys, I am super blessed to have this channel. I'm super blessed to have you awesome subscribers watching my channel. Don't know what I did with my hands right there. I felt like Ricky, Bobby, and Talladega Nights, like I don't know what to do with my hands. Anyways, I wanted to do something fun for you guys. I wanted to do a little intertwin giveaway for all of these boo, spooky, these Halloween decals that I used over here um, in today's video. All you have to do is comment down below which one of the little baby signs was your favorite and make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I will close this giveaway Sunday evening and then I will announce um, on Monday in the comments um, who the giveaway, no, should I do it in the comments? Because I feel like a lot of people don't read the comments. Um, you know what I will do? I will close it on Wednesday and I am gonna actually post on Sunday um, a unboxing. So make sure you watch that and I will be announcing the winner in that. And all you'll have to do is email me, whoever the winner may be, and I will mail these off to you. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you guys so very much and keep on watching the video. All right, y'all, this is going to be our last DIY. Super easy, super beautiful. Have no idea what size this is, but this is Moss Chalk Paint. This is a floral ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby and a clothespin. That's it. So you guys, these are super easy and this is why I'm showing you these, okay? These are things that you can, this legit took me less than 10 minutes with my heat gun drying this. And it's like, you can bust out so many different colors of these, or you could just stain them if you wanted to. You can plank wood them. Possibilities are endless. It doesn't take a lot of money and supplies. It doesn't take a lot of your time either. And they will bring you money if you price them right. These would be perfect for craft fairs, um, selling on your business page, your Etsy page, whatever it may be. And I know it's another photo holder, but I am not joking when I say I sell so many signs that hold photos in them. So keep that in mind. All right, right here, you guys, I am just putting it in a circle. It's about 14 inches long. And I am going to just put a light layer of um, hot glue on there. We're going to close that up. And then I am going to fold her in half to find my middle point, pinch her together in the middle, and then I'm gonna get my hot glue gun and put a little baby dab in the middle to kind of hold that bow together in its place. This, you guys, if you're gonna sell like a lot of them, make sure that you find a ribbon that you know is gonna be in stock for a long time. There's nothing I hate more than like seeing something for sale and then them saying like, oh, well, I don't have that one available anymore. Um, Cause like this ribbon right here, I found on Marketplace. I'm pretty sure it's from Hobby Lobby, but like I would use like Buffalo Check or Burlap or something that you know you'll always have. That way you can list it and you'll know that you can always keep up with the demand of it. So right here, I'm just hot gluing that bow. And then we are going to hot glue our clothespin to the middle of this. And easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You know what I'm saying? That was it, you guys. You just have to make sure you're pricing things right, especially when you're starting off. Use Etsy as references. You know, search it on Pinterest, things like that. And make sure you paint the back since it is a stand-up sign. Now look at how cute that is. That is so adorable. And these little signs, I need to make myself a tiered tray. I have all the stuff from watching Dollar Tree DIY videos on YouTube and I still have not made it, but I need to. 
And look at this. Look at my little baby ever. He was so chunky. I need another baby. Oh my gosh. But the sign's cute too, for sure. I really love this sign. And you guys, I hope that these inspired you. I hope that they get your creative flowing and you want to go get that paint and that wood and that stain and you want to start making your own things. Um, these were a lot of fun for me to show you how to make and I hope that you tag me in Instagram if you guys do end up making some of these. I would love to see what you make and with that said you guys I just want to say thank you again for being here and if nobody told you today you are worth it, you are awesome, and you are beautiful. Have a good one. Bye. to put back in your business, which is always a good thing. Um, so with that said, oh, do I start over? I think I'm gonna start over. What are some wood use, which is nice because you're going to save money that way. Don't like this. Ugh. I need to like, what, what, what is it that I'm trying to do here? Goals, any hardware store, okay? So with that said, you guys, we are gonna hop in and we are gonna start making the six super, no. I always have to kill it. Ugh. DIYs. Oh my gosh, can I just do this? <sighs> hey you guys, welcome back. It's Sammy. This is Unicorn Dust Designs where we do DIYs and wood signs. Wood signs and DIYs. That's what we do at this channel. If you are still here after I did that, then... I feel like I'm just like talking around and around and around myself.